Welcome back, Adam fans. Here we are with another Adam Lambert reaction, this time to a song named Velvet, official video off Adam's channel. Um, what better message is there to say, go subscribe to Adam Lambert, go watch one of his videos right after you finish this. Uh, that's the best way to support an artist. Um, this is brought to you by Madison, again, from Patreon. Uh, Madison has been on a, uh, a journey to present to me as much Adam Lambert as possible, and I'm loving every single minute of it. Um, again, if you haven't seen my other videos, um, I grew up watching him on Idol, and then I sort of fell off. I didn't really follow his career after that, so it's been a real pleasure getting to see him um, just crush it. So let's get into this. Uh, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't, um, and... Uh, Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I've been feeling nostalgic. I know that I'm not the only one. I think it's time. Sorry, I just have to shout out this hairdo, man. <laughs> Looks awesome. I've been feeling nostalgic. I know that I'm not the only one I think it's time for a throwback To remind me how to fall in love Wanna rock something in my own kind of way Like it's tailor-made for me Think I found someone I can get lost in Cut from the same cloth <laughs> A man will do anything under the uh, influence of great tailoring. I love that. Um, sorry, I just want to see when this came out. Four years ago. Okay, sorry for the pause. It's a great quote. Think I found someone I can get lost in Cut from the same cloth as me Just like velvet <laughs> And I knew when I knew it was cool the first time I found Just like velvet <laughs> And I knew when I knew it was cool Fashion the first time I found it was a great scene next to the coffin I was wondering what they were doing there And then fashion victim of course being buried alive Oops And I knew when I knew it was cool the first time I found it That was, look at that, look at that face right there. <laughs> um, that was very like 70s, 80s groove, uh, more like 80s. Uh, very, very velvety is probably the right word to go with this. 
like silken smooth his voice um yeah there was there were none of those classic sort of adam just belters uh, which is actually refreshing you know to know that he has the ability to lay out a track like this which could be played on the radio played in a club played in a cafe just gets you kind of just feeling good uh, versus this you know evocative emotional performance uh, which is also don't get me wrong incredible um but i like to see the versatility and that was certainly on display here also hilarious video um love him he's so good he's so good at what he does um did this one so this came out four years ago okay um my my question about adam is how does he manage to be on tour with you know queen and then also write this music i'm assuming that he also has people helping him write the music but also just go on tour himself and just manage all of that it seems like absolute madness um it's pretty wild I know Mayer also does that with the Grateful Dead, Dead and Company, but it's still like, if you're putting out this kind of music all the time, it seems like quite the balancing act. Um, anyways, lots of respect. Thank you again, Madison, for uh, showing this gem to me. I really appreciate you. Definitely enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to go support Adam and his channel on tour, etc. Um, hit subscribe and leave me a comment if you can. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and check out my Patreon if you want to uh, support me a little bit as well. All right, see you next time.